Hi, welcome to Real Auto Reports, the real first impressions video edition. I'm Jonathan McGrew and behind me is the 2012 Infiniti EX35 Journey all-wheel drive. We're going to take a look at this Garnet Beauty and let you know what we think and what you might think when you first encounter it. From the front, the 2012 Infiniti EX35 is quite the impressive vehicle. As you can see, it's got HID headlights, and if you look very carefully there in the center of the Infiniti logo, that's one of the 360 degree view cameras that lets you see the very front as you're parking. The other thing you'll notice is that it is, uh, it's kind of a subdued look. It's not as aggressive as other cars on the market. So if you're looking for something a little more understated, the Infiniti might be the way to go. From the side, the Infiniti is actually one of the less wagon-like looking crossovers. And that's really due to the chopped back where you have that little rear window. So it looks more like its uh, cousin, the FX, than it does other wagons like the Audi Allroad. However, for some people that's going to be a negative, but for other people that's going to be a positive. So you have to decide whether you like wagons or SUVs. And if you like SUVs, the EX35 is definitely a good looking one on the market. Again, from the back, it's a good looking car. You'll notice the large dual exhaust. It does have a rear windshield wiper to help keep the rear window clean. There's a rear roof spoiler and a large rear third brake to let people know that you are slowing down, which is why the safety features the 2012 Infiniti EX comes with standard. Also, what you'll notice is that the back does not look like a wagon. This goes back to what we said before. More SUV, less wagon. Some people will find that a plus, some a minus. We actually kind of like it because it makes this crossover look a lot more rugged and a lot more usable and also a lot more able to go to functions in town and around town without looking frumpy. So sitting in the driver's seat of the 2012 Infiniti EX35 is a nice place to be. It's got nice features, uh, good reach to everything. You can find all the controls pretty well. Well, except for the traction control, which is way the heck down here by my shins. But other than that, everything's pretty easy. The snow controls are in the console for the snow mode. The thing we really like is the luxury appointments like this automatic tilt and telescoping wheel and the memory seats for the driver controls. And then when you turn the car off and exit and open the door, it moves back and lets you out. And that's a really great feature, although your rear passengers are going to want to watch themselves because if you're tall like I am, their feet are going to end up getting crushed under the front seat. So give them a little warning before you jump out of the car. Powering the 2012 Infiniti EX35 is the 3.5 liter V6 motor with 297 horsepower. This motor will take this car 0 to 60 in about 6.5 seconds. At least that's what the independent tests have shown. We think that's pretty good for an all-wheel drive crossover that weighs a little over 3,700 pounds. Driving the 2012 Infiniti EX35 Journey all-wheel drive is a pretty pleasurable experience. You know, we, we really enjoy driving these different cars because they offer something different for everyone. This one soaks up the road bumps really well. It has good power and performance, decent gas economy, but we were a little disappointed at the sh time it took the transmission to find a gear when we really tromped on the accelerator. Overall, pleasant. That's the real first impressions of the 2012 Infiniti EX Journey all-wheel drive. I'm Jonathan McGrew and this is Real Auto Reports. Stay tuned for future videos and the real review coming up on this Infiniti EX35. Thanks for watching.